Where are all the aliens? We are all familiar with the image of a wide-eyed green armadillo-like creature that floats about in a flying saucer entering our planet for unknown reasons. But why is it that even after all these years, we haven't quite been able to find this green creature's home address? What's up everyone, and welcome to Shower Thoughts, where we explore the miniature epiphanies you have that highlights the oddities within the familiar. Like, subscribe and share the video and write below in your comments on what you'd like to see next. Despite several attempts to communicate with extraterrestrial life through means such as Pioneer Pluck or an Arecibo message, mankind has been leaving various clues out there of our existence, but we are still waiting for our phones to buzz and hear from aliens. Are aliens real? Let's do a little math here. At least 50% of the universe we live in has stars that harbor planets. That means there are at least one trillion planets. It is highly probable that some of these planets are hosting a multicellular civilization. Yeah, that's right. We're not too interested in microorganisms. Life needs water as a key ingredient to exist, which we can find plenty of not just on Earth, but around it too. There is mounting evidence that liquid water is flowing underneath the surface of Mars, Europa, one of many moons Jupiter boasts, so too might the Jovian moons, Callisto and Ganymede, Saturn's moon, Titan and Enceladus, along with planet Venus, maybe have some water as well. This increases the chances of intelligent life forms to exist quite radically. Now, with this kind of probability in mind, one could assume that we would have had at least one encounter by now, and that particular question is called the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox. It is the biggest question in the universe, and no one is close to answering it. People have spent the past century trying to find and explain this conundrum, and have presented several explanations along the way, but nothing comes close to any lead. One Italian-American physicist, Enrico Fermi, tried to present the Fermi paradox in 1950, where he argues on the following points. The Milky Way contains hundreds of billions of stars, and billions of them are similar to the Sun. It is highly likely that some of these stars will have planets that are similar to Earth. If we assume, via the Copernican principle, that Earth is not particularly special, then intelligent life should also exist on some fraction of these Earth-like planets. Some of these intelligent life forms might develop advanced technology and even interstellar travel. Interstellar travel would take a long time, but as there are many Sun-like stars that are billions of years older, there has been plenty of time for such travel to have occurred. Given all this, why haven't we met or seen any trace of aliens? Where is everybody? There are several probable answers to this. A. They are too far apart in space and time. It is possible for the aliens to exist, but maybe they're just too far apart from us to have a meaningful two-way communication with them. B. We don't exactly know what to look for. Other ideas include the suggestion that we are not looking for the right kind of signs, or that aliens are so alien we cannot even recognize them as living things, or perhaps other civilizations are deliberately keeping us in the dark until we are ready to join the wider galactic community. C. It could be dangerous to communicate. It is argued that when different civilizations have met on Earth, the results have often been disastrous for one side or the other. And the same may well apply to interstellar contact. D. They are here unacknowledged. At the risk of sounding controversial, could it possibly be that SETI groups are not reporting positive detections, or governments have been blocking signals or suppressing publication? E. Periodic extinction by natural events or disasters. Other reasons may include any even in time and space that could have resulted in their extinction. F. It is the nature of intelligent life to destroy others. Another hypothesis could be that after gaining command over technology, 
aliens may have destroyed all intelligent life around them to become the most dominant force in the universe. Yep, that's right, the truth is out there. Perhaps we have been looking at the wrong things. Or is it because we still don't understand the complex intricacies the universe is made up of? Or maybe the aliens just don't want to deal with another intelligent life form that's not as intelligent as it perceives itself to be. Let us know in the comments below what you think could be the reason. And keep posting more topics for us to discover and think about. Until next time guys.